It's Thursday again, and that means inbox. Very special inbox, though, today. I'm by myself. That's the bad news. The good news is that Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm doing a little something for the ladies. By the ladies, for the ladies. Let's do this. And that's how you score with the ladies. Am I right, ladies? Don't answer that. Also, don't spray body spray into your mouth, because it tastes like absolute shit. Uh, but moving along from those important lessons that we've already learned on Inbox, I'm by myself again today, flying solo. Uh, it's February, the month of love. So we're going, uh, we're going by the ladies, for the ladies. Let's do this. I pulled every single question that a girl or a dude with a girl's name who has a picture of a girl as his Facebook profile image submitted. Every single one. Out of 500 questions, you know what we came up with? Eight. Eight out of 500. I'll take it. I'll take it. And one, uh, one sweet thing submitted three questions and another one submitted two. So technically only five. Only five girls submitted questions on Inbox. But you know what? That's how, you, uh, that's how you fish. You cast your nets, and you just see what, uh, what bounty the god of mortal women offers you. Sort of like fishing for crabs on that one Discovery Channel show. What's that called, Ty? Deadliest Catch. Deadliest Catch. Great show. That was a bad analogy, though. The crab fishing and the picking up of the ladies. Uh, I also have a couple uh, gentlemen who submitted good, solid, lady-centric questions uh, that weren't uh, perverted. We're gonna start off with those, ladies. We'll get to you guys. Ladies, we'll get to you, ladies. Uh, first question, Max Gaskell asks, if you were, I'm gonna do these all in voices, if that's cool with you guys, uh, depending on how I feel like they would sound. Max sounds like this. If you were a woman for a day, what would be the first thing you'd do? If I was a woman for a day, the first thing I would do would be to get on a dick, because I am dying to know how that is. I'm not even kidding, or being like, I, it's a little perverted, I guess, but that would be the first thing I'd do. I would hop on a, the nearest man pole. Cody Swackhammer asks, uh, in his uh, signature Swackhammer tone, what's your favorite female feature? Um, you know, it's just her, uh, it's her spirit. It's her, her uh, it's not her intelligence that's too mechanical, it's just her, her soul, you know? She's a sweet soul. That's my favorite thing. All right, moving on to the main part of this episode. There will be no rapid fire, okay, fellas? Ladies don't like rapid. They like you to take your time. Do it dulcimo, do it very slowly. Our first question comes from Kaylee Isom. It's a beautiful name. Gotta be a porn star. What's one thing you hope to do before you die? Before I die, Kaylee, I hope that I am able to go to space. Like Richard Branson, or somebody that's super rich right now, or any of the astronauts. I hope that I can buy a ticket to some shit like Southwest Airlines has a space, a two-way space trip. That's what I want, I wanna go to space, just for a second. I also wanna learn Chinese, wanna be fluent. It's gonna be important here in America. Once we're not America anymore, we're West China, which should be Soon. Our next question comes from Julie Steinstra. Julie, my first high school crush was named Julie. Coincidence? I think not. Julie asks, what movie makes you almost so sad that you could cry? I cry at movies at odd moments. I cry at movies of uh, glory. I cry at movies of triumph. So this is things like when Seabiscuit wins after recovering from a broken leg. Or when Maximus Aurelius Desmodus finally kills Joaquin Phoenix for being such a prick. I'm like. <laughs> when Neo's running through pillars shattered 
by by police officers' bullets and agents' rounds in the Matrix. I'm like, <laughs> I, t I tear up every time Roy Batty is crushing Terrell's head, and he's like, I want more life, fucker. You know? That's probably not the kind of movies you cry at, Julie, but that's what gets me going. Next up, Elena Zamoron asks, if you could teleport back into time anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would teleport back to uh, feudal Japan because it was a time of beauty and honor. And I think I'd fit in real well there. Or I would teleport to last Saturday at the Palladium for the Skrillex show because that was f fucking awesome. Weighing in with a double, Sarah Benanti asks, she's a dirty bird. She asks, receive anal or swallow? And follows that up with just a statement, I got a boner. Which makes me wonder if his name isn't really Sarah at all. But I'm gonna answer that question because it looked like a chick and its name was Sarah, all right? Oh, I would receive anal. I can just picture that I'm taking a, dump, a reverse dump and get by. But the swallowing part, I can't do it. I can't even, I could, I would lose a fear factor when they're like, here, drink a pitcher of ground up rat tails. I can't even do that, much less like <laughs> All right, finally coming in hot with a triple header, Heather Saigo Weaver, whose name I can't say without thinking of Saigon, where I lost so many of my friends in the late 60s. Uh, she gets all her own, she gets her own rapid fire sequence, you know what? Damn what the ladies want. We're doing this quick, Heather. You, you, you carpet bomb me with questions like this. You get your own rapid fire sequence. You ready for this? You get it fast and hard, Heather. Psycho Weaver. Would I rather be a vampire or a werewolf? Werewolf. If you could be a non-human race from Skyrim, what would it be? Khajiit. Have you ever seen a ghost or a UFO? And do you believe they exist? No, no, yes, yes. That's it for Inbox. Tune in next week where we do a little something special for our gay audience. Are we good? Yeah.